it does look pretty amazing, I think. I think, uh, like, uh, seeing uh, Ramsey's lair, for instance, I mean, that looks like something from a movie, and the attention to detail in the... Uh, <laughs> I mean, he's got a refrigerator in his lair that is a, like a sarcophagus. It's like King Tut's too. <laughs> it's so stupid, but it's so beautifully made. This thing is just gorgeous, you know? And, uh, and yeah, the, the, the production values are pretty... Uh, pretty Great. Wow, my vocabulary good today, isn't it? I, no, I think the answer is, like, you hope it's going to look that good, you know? you As an actor, you read scripts, and you imagine the best version of it in your mind, and then so often you end up on set, and you're like, oh, God, this is what it is, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. And they go, well, we had to rewrite the scene because we couldn't get a truck, so now it's a bicycle, <laughs> and, like, there's a lot of that. And with yeah. this, it just constantly felt like there was a lot of attention and care and craft and money and time. It felt like a movie. Like yeah. It felt like filming a movie. Well, and I think it kind of has to because it's, I mean, I also don't feel like it's a parody per se, but it is commenting on the superhero landscape. And I think that's part of why it is transformed with each new iteration because the landscape changes. And right now the superhero landscape is so heightened and it's so serious and the effects are so intense. Like in order to comment on that and also like reveal some of the absurdity of that, we have to we have to mirror the production values of those movies, you know? A, yeah, a thing I, that Ben has always been really good at is every version of The Tick has kind of reflected what's going on in, in superhero culture at that time. So the comics were really using the art style of Frank Miller and all these guys were really big at that moment. The cartoon was on at the same time as the X-Men cartoon. And right. Batman cartoon was in the same style. And I think they knew if this show was going to work, they had to put the effort into making it look as good as the Marvel Netflix shows or anything else out there because the the bet, the gambit, is that it will make it funnier if it looks as legitimate and then the funny stuff happens within that serious looking kind of tapestry. Mm -hmm.